<gasps> Reacting scared only at the end of a fairly lengthy welcoming. Boom motion sound effects. Bit weird how they stood there in silence together so he could introduce her via inner monologue. My guy, you answered your own question. She said she had info about your skill. You said, skill? You mean my great sage skill? But then you go on to say how that's your one and only skill. So yes, of course it's about that one. Um, am I being dumb, or would this test not be pointless without him first actually using his sage ability and getting a headache? Otherwise, they're just merely kissing. Oh, very opportunistic wind cliche. In anime, people are always mentally fine and dandy after spending five years on their own, ten years or whatever. But this girl is all super and happy and chipper, and she's been on her own for over 200 years! <laughs> <laughs> 200 years, right? No! Tells him to be as casual as possible, and when he casually introduces himself, she says, I don't need to know the name of a lowly baronet. Nothing says keeping things casual and informal like constantly bringing up someone's station in life. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little weird, isn't it? You didn't let her. It's not like she asked for it. In fact, you asked her to do it. I was worried about you and you didn't tell me what you were doing, so I thought I'd find you and punch you in the face. She might think he did all the work and be all over him anyway. No, clearly not. It's weird because that's normally one of the first things that friends divulge about themselves. Strange that he's only been there for a very short period of time, like maybe two or three days at most, and yet everyone and their dog there already knows about his goal to gain enough money to enroll. Are you feeling okay, my guy? You met that girl, didn't you? You booped her forehead with yours, got her powers. You're right, bruh! <laughs> Why? Did they all gather around and suddenly start whispering off screen? I'm waiting for his big speech! Let the speech commence! Why would he even be given one in the first place? Did you take a poll that people wanted this? <laughs> Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I totally get doing it at the start for last, but do you have to do it literally all the time? Well, 
Lip licking sound effects. Seems so odd that she just said all of this to the back of his head. He was randomly looking off into the distance, like the entire time for some reason. <laughs> Telepathy! Really a massive exaggeration to claim she saved you, she was nice to you in class, and then everyone chilled a little. A bit over the top to call that being saved. <laughs> well that's massively up my street. Well played anime chan! CGI! Multiple exhale and then inhale cliches in a row. It's like a unicorn. Normally it's one or two. While the kid's dying, she's like, let's pause a minute and discuss philosophy. Yeah, okay, settle down, Jesus Kun. She wasn't directly asking you. <laughs> this pair of bishers not pointing the lad in the direction that he should be issuing out his thanks, since they did basically naff all to save him. Especially the blonde, she did literally nothing. This scene would be substantially more sweet if she didn't fairly roughly shove her head against a wall beforehand. Saying someone's name is still a speaking normally cliche. He says, as though he hadn't already written it all down prior to this reaction. Why the hell does this guy keep on bringing his daughter into the equation? These girls are unbelievably good at hiding behind him. Character with their eyes constantly shut cliche. Maria was a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little doesn't seem like those two go hand in hand. Being really ill means you can better interpret others' emotions. Not to mention that he didn't display any emotions in regards to taking out the monster. It wasn't even mentioned at the event, just that they'd won. Uh, he barely explains what LP is to her, doesn't even finish saying the word last, and she goes in for the snog, assuming that'll do the trick. <laughs> if you do, why not just keep the mic all the time then, you freak? <laughs> well, that was an oddly time delay. <laughs> Thanks, Exposition Chan. Without you pointing that out, I'd have never known you were alone. Thankfully, I'm not a heartless monster. That moment was lovely, especially after being so loyal that he waited 350 years for his friend to return, and now he has a home. Brilliant. Sit off, please. <laughs> You, uh, you had to go and make it weird, didn't you? You had to go and make it really weird, didn't you? What the hell?
Why are you still constantly doing that, though? These two absolute freaks just sat there staring at one another until finally starting to speak. I'm not sure I needed a 30 second recap for something that was shown 5 minutes ago at the start of the episode. I'm treading carefully now, but once again, Character with their eyes constantly shut cliché. <laughs> Honestly, I'm enjoying this anime, but that music sucks. It sounds like a weird, funky and annoying phone sound in the background all the time. <laughs> Two people complete one full sentence together cliché. Will somebody answer that damn phone? <laughs> I don't know why that would shock you. You yourself said she went after your own adventurers before. How is it a long story? She summed it up in like 10 words right afterwards as well. One would have thought it'd make more sense to create the trap first, given that you know they live around there. Then use Great Sage to locate the nearest dragon. Otherwise, the location you got is likely to have changed by the time you dig a massively deep and wide hole and plant those spears and so on. Also, my god, look at the size of that damn hole! What, did the three of them dig it in like a week and a half? How did you get it there, though? Also, how did you get it inside? Also, why would you bring it directly inside? Like, is the courtyard not proof enough that you did it? Really do wish you'd stop doing that all the time in this. Three times in this conversation alone. You've, uh, you've just gone and added the damn lolly to the anime, haven't you? I kind of doubt anyone can perfectly recall what their friends looked like when they were kids. I'd totally be on board if she died or if he hadn't seen her for years, of course. But in this instance, they've been close friends ever since they were kids. So how the hell is he perfectly recalling what she used to look like all the time? <gasps> Bruh, for real man, that's just incredibly gross. I can't say anything else. I hate it when anime do this. I don't know why every single damn harem needs to have a lolly automatically. She then goes to lick off the blood. So this is getting a very rare max two sins. Okay, go ahead and take another max two sins. Jesus. Yeah, clearly. Maybe try that again without looking like you want to throw up and people might actually believe your ass. Talking about her as if she's not directly beside him. That was just so slow paced. Oh, 
These are the best adventurers paid by the rich dude to guard the party and they literally didn't even bother to jump up to where they were chatting before they escaped. Well, they soon caught up. Might have been even quicker if they hadn't had a 15 minute chat before setting off. Weirdly assuming something did happen to you before even allowing him to answer. Leila Obarok. Guild's adventure as a guild member. My guy, do you even know how weird it sounds to think this to yourself in a shocked manner when she's entered and already introduced herself a solid 20 seconds ago? Seems a weird policy to put students who happen to know each other together, but okay. The class just got told that they know each other already, and yet this dude is saying he's already tight with Emma as though it just happened. Super nice of the teacher to remain quiet while they quickly chat. Holding up the entire class in order to jump up and down in front of them saying hot springs. When your inner monologue takes probably 10 to 20 minutes to finish one sentence and you wind up in your dorm room before you can finish a single thought. <laughs> Somehow we knew after a fairly lengthy battle that his mate was right then about to get up. <laughs> Multiple people say the exact same thing at the exact same time and in the exact same way cliche. <laughs> This guy has such a bad habit of using his great sage ability when no one is around to help get rid of the headaches. I don't know why he keeps oddly doing it at those times. He could have asked the question of how to free his master, went back at the shop and then gone and done it. If he could justify that comment even slightly, I wouldn't sin it. But where the hell would there be any kind of danger in knowing at least about the dungeon and the woman in it? It's a personal sin, but I think it's a little lame to jump from the 7th floor with the lolly to the 15th as quick as this. As prior to now, there was importance to each prior floor, and now we skip so many. One bottle of infinite or juice of that! For real, four of them completed two sentences together. Get out of here, anime! She says, even though when she arrived she used it to heal the boy and has since been waving it around. Everyone just randomly coming across him whilst out and about. Chris Harris, Ted L, Inakami and Water, Daniel Morales, Marquez, Nick Window, Waterkeeper, Steelers, The Ever Commander, Bird Without a Word, Let's Cow, Brandon Creer, Game 2000, Kieran Robinson, Comfrey, Kid Munt, Magnus, Matthew Casterline, Nathan Burr, Sean, Ali 50, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Guru Guru, Isan Caldera, Your Edvinson, Your Nishal, Jordan Samuels, Jaffa6263, Kellnock, Kepan, Kevin Nelter, Bonito, Luis Cruz, Matthew Blanchard, Matt Marshmallow, 1928, Sentimento, Storm 970, The Element Taylor Wars.